Hey everyone, Anthony Sicari here, Sun Power by New York State Solar Farm. I'm here to tell you about the big differences in the way we do solar. And the biggest thing is Sun Power Maxion technology. Basically, that sounds complicated. Let me break it down into simple terms. The way we produce more power on your roof with less panels is by the cells that we use. So this Sun Power cell is all black. The standard efficiency cell actually has these lines on the front of it. It's almost like a metal paste the way they're set up. So basically it's like my shirt. When you go to get your shirt screen printed, they basically take this and they iron it on there and it's screen printed right to your shirt. Basically what that means is you could peel the logo off after a certain amount of time, close to the washer, the dryer, then your logo's peeling off. With some power, we don't have any of those lines on the front like these guys do. We put everything on the back of it. So basically all these copper connections are on the back of the cell, which means we have the entire front of the cell to produce as much power as possible. So really you have to think about it in terms of, if you go to the beach and you're trying to get tan, would you go and lay under a pergola where all those lines are blocking the sun from you? No, you'll look like a zebra after you get off the bench. And that's exactly what, this standard efficiency and commodity solar does. It has all these lines on the front that block actually the cells, block the sun from hitting the cells, which means you need more of them, but also means over time, what these will do is they'll corrode and break down because this is a metal paste where this is an integrated copper back sheet. Basically, copper is a semiconductor material and then also with the extreme thermal expansion that we get, extremely cold in the morning to extremely hot in the afternoon times. A July roof, you're getting up 110, 100 plus degrees where things are expanding and contracting, where we have this joint in between. This, with thermal expansion, can move and contract where these two ribbons will just break over time. So what I'm gonna show you is a demonstration. In this demonstration, I'm gonna show you a standard efficiency cell which is basically the rest of the industry besides sun power. This is the cell, crystalline cell. This is the metal paste directly over the top of the cell. So what this does, you can see all of the blue, which is the crystalline, and then you can see this metal paste on the front of it that's covered over the silicone. So the way I'm gonna demonstrate this is I'm gonna put it in this bag and I'm gonna bend this cell and we're gonna see how it withstands that's like pretty much a real world environment, this on the roof flexing. So we'll do that. And also what you could see is on the back of the cell, there's no conductors on the back of it. Everything is on the front. And we'll show you the difference when it comes to sun power. So I'm gonna put this in this bag. Seal that up. So basically what we have here, this is the cell. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend this. And when we bend it, what we're going to see is all these connections that are tying the cell together, we're going to see if they, how they withstand. And if you look, it actually cracks the entire cell in half. All of those connections are broken, which means, basically what that means is now we can't transmit energy from one cell to another we broke the connection, the solar panel is no longer working. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the sun power cell. You can tell the sun power cell is darker. It's a dark, dark black, almost bluish tint. And then on the front, on the back side of it, you can see all of the copper connectors that are integrated in the cell. It's actually sandwiched together, almost just, it's all one component, it's not two. So when it breaks, it's all one which it's still gonna produce when it breaks. So I'm gonna take this same cell and put this cell in the bag. So I'll put that same cell in the bag, seal it up. And as you can tell, what we're gonna do with this same cell, we're gonna put it through the exact same stress test. We're gonna bend it. We're gonna crush it up even more. And if you look, that same cell is still together. So even crushed with thermal expansion over time, that cell, all the conductors are still producing. 
So you can see the difference in technology and this is super important when going solar. You have to know the difference of the technology that you're putting on the roof, what's going to last over time, what's going to work in the northeast. Standard efficiency, sun power technology. Thanks so much for watching.